and they're off for this the make your best better bet bit uh, ebf maiden stakes island king just showing greenness leaving the stalls went away to the right uh, in the early stages, Hail End on the right, showing speed. Boxing Alex with the big white blaze purple jacket down the centre. The favourite leadman is well on terms, pink cap noseband. And uh, they're followed closely by Racing Demon just behind by the dip. And then OJ Lifestyle in a purple jacket, cobalt blue on the far side, starred sleeves. Uh, down the near side, Bacento in the dark blue sleeves is within three lengths of the lead now, followed by Enoch Du as they head on towards the halfway stage. Blanche Land further back, Manuelito and the slow starting Island King still looking very green at the rear of the field. So Hale End on the right by the dip, boxing Alex, lead man going well. And on the left, Bacento now being wound up, and they're chased by OJ lifestyle on the far side as they run down inside the final quarter mile and lead man is now asked to go on and lead man very quickly goes into the lead there now being pushed up shaken up by David Probert as they run on with for company OJ lifestyle is running a big race and Bacento is staying on lead man and OJ lifestyle on the far side and OJ lifestyle is really worrying the favorite here OJ lifestyle far side of Leadman. they go head and head up towards the line nose to nose OJ lifestyle style on the far side of Leadman and they were clear of Bacento and Cobalt Blue. Well, Gary Moore has just seen OJ Lifestyle cause a big bit of surprise here under 25 to 1. Surprise for us was it a surprise to you, Gary? It was a surprise that he won. It was a surprise that he did. I thought he'd run well, you know, hoped he'd run well. He disappointed me first time badly. Uh, he, he behaved badly that day, you know. Um, he had other things on his mind, you know, so... Uh, we sorted a few things out. He's been working nice at home. Yeah. And uh, I was just hoping for a good run. Omar's come all the way over from Dubai to see him run today. You know, he's oh, to see, and the filly who was supposed to run earlier, who'd shown promise first time, she couldn't run. So it was, I just hope he'd run well for, it, for him. You know, it's the first time he's seen his horses run. Yeah, he's a horse that, see, that you bought as well, son of Glen Eagles, and he's clearly a horse that you, you liked as a yearling as well. Has he just developed, matured, taken a bit of time? He, he's, he's definitely matured mentally mm. today than what he did last time, you know. Um, and, he, yeah, he, he's probably going to be next year's model more than this year's, you know, because he, he's, he's a good-sized horse, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was, I didn't actually buy him, Russell McNabb bought him. OK. Yeah. OK. Yeah. He's, a, he's a big horse, and obviously I thought Tom gave him a good ride because he actually didn't want to get him out and see too much daylight and then he when he did he just pricked his ears really nice yeah he did yeah. so obviously he's learned from the other day quite a lot you know and hopefully he can carry on going forward and delighted owners i uh, so here over from dubai it's brilliant to hear owners for, for a while with you guys uh, no it's first first horse they've had in training with me obviously he's been in training quite a while because he's bought as a yearling yeah um so it's if you know look, it's only the top first time i've seen him have a runner well, first of many, you'd imagine after 125 to 1 success, well done to you all and enjoy the celebration. Thank you very much. Thank you.